If you're a big swim team and you like to order a lot of gear, maybe you ought to check out Swim Outlet Team Division for these reasons. Swim teams receive a 10% discount on bulk orders. Swim teams or organizations get an 8% commission on referred sales. You'll also like their customization services, which is affordable and available at all times during the year for all team gear. With over 50,000 items in stock, you can get most anything you want. Swim Outlet Team Division. You need to try it out. You'll be glad you did. Anthony Irving is everything we love about swimming. He went 21.98 in the 50 free at the 2000 games to tie the infamous Gary Hall Jr. for the Olympic gold medal. In 2003, at 22 years old, he retires. A year later, he auctions off his Olympic medals to support the 2004 tsunami victims. In 2011, at 30 years old, he returns to the pool, swimming's answer to rock and roll. 2012, he makes the Olympic team as perhaps the most interesting swimmer on deck. Now at almost 32 years old and in a post-Olympic year, what's going on inside his head? Psychological what I was dealing with last year was it doesn't even compare to now um, but at the same time like I was improving in such leaps and bounds because that focus uh, because I mean just the nerves you, you drill that into like a laser and you try to make yourself better and just the amount of improvement I saw in such a short period of time leading into trials was was huge and I don't I don't have that right now and admittedly I'm not just like hanging out at the pool and training and like getting better like I have to work I travel so there's a lot more responsibilities now um, but I really think this is the year for me to explore that because that is another like skill set that I'd need if I'm going to remain a professional he's leaning into a professional swimming career the big question is he going to swim past 35 is he going to lee zack it I'm going to lee zack it totally going to lee zack it <laughs> yeah certainly the plan is you know you know, the stars align and allow it to happen. Uh, swim for the next four years and go to trials and, you know, I, I, no expectations whatsoever. And, you know, the expectations will, will be kind of like a year by year thing, but it would be great to, and, I, and I've said this before too, to kind of, you know, like ride out the rest of my competitive career with gracing dignity until I'm no longer of value to the national team. Irving won gold on the 4x100 freestyle relay at the 2012 Short Course World Championships. With his sights set on the 2016 Olympic Games in Rio, and with him being closer to 40 than 30, is he going to be gunning for a spot on the relay? Well, absolutely. I'd love to be a team player like that and get on that relay. That's a great tradition, and it's something that you know I, I actually haven't... Uh, I really feel like I have, that's something that's been missing from my my like international career you know I had when I was in college at Cal we had great relays we like dominated you know breaking records and it was so much fun and that's you know that's the the team element that it's kind of been lacking for me on the international level in media areas and elite competitions you rarely get Anthony alone to talk about things beyond swimming like what's the story behind his ink the tattoo artwork in a lot of ways it's a memoir and it's a living memoir I look back on each tattoo or when I started each tattoo and that puts me back to that time in my life and you know while I may have understood myself as one thing back then that understanding continues to evolve and grow as I am and the same thing with the tattoo and for the most part my tattoos are unfinished so that makes you know that's a sign to me that I'm unfinished and that I continue to grow and develop as well how far is he gonna go with it Probably not so much before retirement, but I plan to suit up, you know, throughout the course of my life. Do you have the Olympic rings? I do, that was my very first tattoo. Where is it? It's right here on my shoulder blade. It's kind of faded, I might need to touch it up. Now you're screwing my focus up. All right, I'm about to back up a little bit. It looks really pretty. Once I'm out of the pool for good, I, mean, I don't think I'll ever will be. I'll, I'll be trying to do that Masters thing, chasing down Rowdy's world records <laughs> as I age up. It's a wonderful sport. There's a lot to do. You know, private sector, public sector side of it, policy making, being an advocate for the athletes in the future, you know, crushing them with, <laughs> with institutional grip, you know, like eventually I'll get there too. <laughs>